Hey everyone, it's Nancy with Soulfish and it is Thank You Thursday. We give away a free Thriving in the Third Dimension t-shirt to one of our lucky subscribers. It's our way of saying thank you for watching and for being a part of our community. So this week's lucky winner is Allie Murphy. Congratulations, Allie. And she is right there. Yay! And if you want to see the t-shirt, there's a picture of it right here, or there's a link below. You can see it nice and close to get an idea of what you can win. And if you'd like to be a winner of our t-shirt, or at least be entered to try to be a winner of our t-shirt, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and have commented in the last 30 days, and then maybe you'll be next week's winner. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next Thursday. Hey everyone, welcome to Soulfish. I am really glad that you are here experiencing this, working on yourself, raising the collective conscious, right? How are you doing that? Because if you change you, everything around you changes. And that's how this works, right? So I, was, I think you'll appreciate this. I was, I was watching a couple of these movies, you know, I was thinking about The Matrix and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then, uh, Jupiter Ascending, so you guys have seen those movies probably. And I was thinking about the concept of us as a, as a battery source. I was thinking of the concept that, you know, if you think about us raising the collective conscious, right? We're talking about that if we improve our beingness, if we raise our self, if we are able to weed our own garden so that our thoughts are better, our intent is better, right? How we act, respond is better. And when we do that, then through example that others see, as well as our energy body, we raise the collective conscious together. So think about that. Are we a battery? What are we powering? You know, for energy sensitives, if you walk into a room, right, and you're in a downer space, you can bring the room down. If you walk into the room and you're in the up space, you can elevate everything. You can lift everything up. So that kind of makes you a battery power, if you think about it. What are you battering up? Are you putting out good vibes so that you are a battery for hope, for love, for compassion, for kept promises? Or are you a battery for distraction, division, um, dark stuff, right? We don't have to spend a lot of time on that to understand. What are you fueling? Krishnamurti said, um, when asked, he was talking about, can one human change the race? He was talking about almost like an archetypal energy where he likened humans to like wolves, right? And you have a leader or you know, the wolf pack leader and that alpha dictates everything for the group. In other words, his, how he behaves is how that group behaves. It takes, takes note from his leadership and affects everything. And he says humans are, are the exact same way. Um, whether you are aware of the actual person or not, a person can tremendously impact the whole race. Now think about that. If seven and a half billion people if one person can affect seven and a half billion people, what could seven and a half billion people thinking properly, acting properly, doing properly? In other words, when I say properly, I'm not talking about morality and I'm not passing judgment. I'm saying, what if we had elevated ourselves to such a point that as a, as a collective, what could happen? If one dude can change seven and a half billion people, what could seven and a half billion people change? And I think that's our legacy. I think that's, that's why we are here, is that we have to, through grace, some of us receive information. Some of us are aware. Some of us are conscious. Some of us are recognize that we're living in a distraction and that the real purpose here is to grow ourself, right? <clears throat> so imagine that. And then those people are supposed to share with everyone else. It's kind of a beautiful thing in that way. It's, uh, uh, it's really kind of a beautiful thing. This thing is so complex. This life we live in is so complex. You know, when you think about everything that's here and that you don't see and how much that affects you, and yet we base all, almost all of our judgments when, when you're in a non-conscious state, when you're in a react, react, reactionary state, <clears throat> in this kind of impulsive, um, body-geared 
thing. In other words, what you can see and touch and taste and smell and feel. <clears throat> this kind of matter world, which only represents maybe 1% of what really exists. So think about that. That's crazy. So back to, are you a battery? In a lot of ways, we are, right? We're, we're, we are powering different things, and we have to choose what our battery is going to be used for. I hope that's helpful, and much love.